All right, so uncivilized vitality, we're going to talk today about uh, multi-tools. So I just lumped these in with uh, cutting and digging tools. Most multi-tools have a knife on them. What we're doing is talking more about something like, uh, for me, the main one is going to be this Leatherman Wave. I keep this in this kit with a couple of these um, bit panels. So you got these various little bits that go with it. There's all sorts of tools you can get. This one's got uh, so many different things. There's a couple of blades. It's got a serrated uh, blade with a blunted end or a sheep's, uh, sheep's foot end. Uh, serrated blade on one side, and that, when you roll it over the other side, it's got a non-serrated blade with a, with a tip. Okay. The other two tools you can access from the outside would be a, a saw, right? a little coarse saw with a real sharp spine, and the rotating on the opposite side is a file. It would be nice if that file would detach so I could maintain some of my other tools, but it is what it is. The inside of the wave, like most Leathermen, have these pliers, uh, wire cutters, needle nose, and then uh, coarse uh, gripping pliers. And then a variety of tools tucked in here. There's a pair of scissors. You've got these little locking mechanisms on the back so you can work with it. And a pair of tools in there. We've got uh, a miniature driver. That's a tiny little, it's hard to see that or focus, tiny little straight blade. And you can turn that out and switch that little little bit driver around. So now I've got a little miniature Phillips head in case I had to repair my glasses or something. Besides that mini bit driver, this side has a large uh, screwdriver or sometimes I've used that as a, a little pry bar or pry tool. Okay. On the other side, also with the locking mechanism, we've got the standard Leatherman bit driver. This comes out and uses these flat bits. In this case I can use it like a screwdriver. I've got a Phillips in there, uh, number two, and then I've got a little um, straight blade. And this is the one with any of these other bit drivers, these little bits uh, are interchangeable in there. I've got some hex, some uh, different size Phillips and straight blades, and uh, a bunch of others over here, some square and some Allen key uh, and some straight uh, bits. Right? So I just keep those two tucked in this Leatherman pouch with my Wave. So besides the bit driver, the ubiquitous can opener um, to open the cans, maybe I find a, I take a can of chili with me, I can open that. So the Leatherman Wave is a great multi-tool. I've had at, at, I've had at least one wave with me for uh, ten or twelve years. I like it, but it's it's pretty heavy, and um, there's some other multi-tools I carry with this to kind of supplement uh, the use of that. Like for instance, uh, if I go on a plane or I'm traveling, I can take this little Leatherman style, which doesn't have a knife blade. It's still got the pliers, but it's got a few little little grooming items. It's got um, a set of scissors on the outside, right? Just for maybe trimming nails or a callus or something. A little pair of tweezers here on the side. They just slide in there, a little pair of tweezers. And a, a nail, basically a nail file. Right. And with this, this end could be used as a, a Phillips or a, just a straight blade. But it's just a little kind of travel, uh, no blade, so I can take it with me on planes and such. So I can uh, carry this. I wouldn't need it with the Wave because the Wave has scissors. But maybe I'm taking a smaller multi-tool. This is my Leatherman uh, Squirt. Quite a few tools on this. A um, pair of scissors, which is always handy to have. Right. Little um, flat or two-dimensional Phillips, right. and then a straight blade on that side. A little larger straight blade with a bottle opener. The other side, the squirt has uh, a little file, again mostly for nails, and a small blade. Right. And then opening the the squirt, I get uh, some spring action. Uh, needle nose. This is a, a great multi-tool for just like small uh, carry. I'll wear this if I'm if I'm doing some formal attire and I'm wearing a suit for some event or I'm, I'm off to the school and I don't want to run my full-size uh, Leatherman tool or multi-tool. The squirt's great. Now what I normally carry uh, is, or my new one that I've loved for a couple years now, is the Leatherman Signal. This one is marketed as for the outdoorsman, so for the uncivilized events, this one comes out great. It's got almost everything you could want uh, in an outdoors knife. 
one main blade partially serrated, okay, accessed from the outside, a saw, this is great for cutting notches and uh, some basic bushcrafty stuff. It's also good for striking the, the fire steel because of that spine. It's got something you wouldn't think you'd use a lot, but this hammer pole, that hammer pole is great. It's also got a little carabiner and a combination bottle opener okay, on the outside. And you can see this little hex bit driver. I could drop in something just out of my DeWalt drill, a little hex bit if I had to, um, to do that. Uh, also on the outside is a ferrocerium rod and a little diamond uh, sharpener. The diamond sharpener can be disengaged from the outside and they can use this. It's angled to maintain the serrations on my blade, right? Or I can sharpen the actual blade itself. This helps you with the little field maintenance. Now, if I open the signal up by releasing this little locking latch here, okay? the locking latch keeps it from falling open. On the inside, I have the hammer forms this little hook, right? So it's comfortable in the hand. I've got the hardened wire cutters and wire strippers, the large mouth pliers, and the needle nose. And the tip does uh, actuate real, real well. So that's a, it's a great pair of pliers for pulling out, uh, digging out uh, splinters. Let's see if I can get a piece of, of my skin here and show you. So I can grip that real well, small little bit, and pull out a a splinter or a piece of glass or a thorn. Some of the tools on the inside, bit driver, standard bit driver. Uh, be surprised at maintaining other gear mainly. The ubiquitous can opener, right? So I can pry open cans out in the field. And then uh, something I find really handy is the awl. So we've used this a lot to make um, slings in the field, to work leather, to dig holes. I'll show you something else with that in a minute. All right, and then on the other side, by pulling this little tab back, I can pull out that little ferrocerium rod and it comes with a little uh, whistle built in. It's not that loud, but it's nice to have a second or redundant whistle with you all the time. Um, it's not that loud, but it could help in a pinch. So that slides right down in there. Another neat thing about the signal is, uh, Logan, do you have yours? Can I throw it in there? So uh, Logan, our producer here, has uh, his signal and you can see how much more brightly colored his is. Uh, you can actually aftermarket order uh, the diamond sharpener and the ferrocerium rod holder in different colors. Uh, I have a set of yellow for when I go out in the field, so it's easier to see if I drop it. This red and blue stands out in the field. Um, maybe in the low light, if I were to drop my uh, low vis uh, signal, it might not be as easy to find. Okay. But uh, I love this thing. Um, this is with me every day. This forms my. my uh, meets my personal knife uh, requirements. One of the things I can show you about the, uh, the awl that I've discovered is you'll see that there's a little cutout on the hammer pole that makes space for that awl to be extended while this is closed and locked so I can really bear down with that awl with no danger of it slipping and opening. You can also use this almost in a, a pakal or a karambit knife style when that's closed and in my hand as a hand load to use that in a self-defense application. Something I picked up um, immediately as soon as I, the first time I picked the signal up is one of the reasons I really enjoyed that. With that pocket clip, if I needed to, I could extend the awl and carry that tip down in my pocket with my hand on it in case I needed to pull that out in a self-defense application. That's obviously not what it's intended for. It's just there. All right, so this is the Leatherman signal. This is the official UV recommended multi-tool. Doesn't, it doesn't have the functionality of a wave or... Uh, Mark loaned us his charge for the video, so we can show you that. The charge is another one of those full uh, um, Leatherman tools. I mean, this one's even got the draw hook on the serrated blade. Uh, it's got a few other, um, a few other little um, specialized tools that I'm not really sure what that would be used for. But the charge is like the, the wave. It's got so many different functionality, depending on what you're carrying it for. It might be a little too big for the woods. Um, or daily use depending on what you're doing, right? Even though the, the, the signal has a larger footprint, it's not as heavy as the charge or the wave. Doesn't have as many tools, but it's more in line with what uncivilized would need. I do know that Mark pairs his charge up with the little style PS. So he pairs those up so he has the smaller one and he carries that. Sometimes I'll carry the squirt as my multi-tool uh, in a pocket when it's 
uh, I'm not using the Leatherman, but when I go into woods, the um, sorry, the signal, the signal's always with me. Now, I will sometimes pair up my signal. I keep this Leatherman Micra in my salt needle kit or my toiletries kit. I keep that mainly because of it's very lightweight, it's very small, and for redundancies, uh, it gives me a pair of scissors instead of a pair of pliers. So now I've got a pair of spring-loaded scissors for trimming the old beard up out in the field or cutting off a callus, or maybe sometimes I just need a pair of scissors. And that's the one thing the signal uh, doesn't have. Okay. So I like to pair my signal up with a Leatherman Micra, and I keep that in my toiletry kit. So check out uh, Leatherman Signal. Get yourself a multi-tool as a personal knife. And uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, please. And then um, share this, and then uh, check out some of our other videos.